thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to try this method on the Naptime Creation channel to make coasters with 3D flowers. I'm going to use Mrs. Colorberry's resin as you can see on the screen. I'm going to use gold cracks. Uh, it's uh, like little pebbles, much heavier than uh, the glitter, so it stays in place. Uh, they are very, very beautiful, a very beautiful gold. And I'm going to use um, Cara Blue from Mrs. Color Berries. It's uh, a color that I love, but I love blue, so I'm not uh, very objective. <laughs> Um, to which I'll add a little bit of yellow indigo polar light. And uh, to make my flower, I will use Supreme White Epoxy Paint from Just For You Online UK. I put all of the links in the description box. I pour a little resin into the cup where I put my cracks, just uh, to make it all a little better, so they stay where I want them. bit of clear resin into my mold just uh, on the bottom but well I used a resin calculator that what was a little tight <laughs> but uh, it's still going to work <laughs> it gun quickly and then with my silicon brush I track down the air bubbles on the sides. To mix my blue carrot, uh, it's a collection from Mrs. Colorberry. So, oh, look at this color, it's so beautiful! my yellow indigo polar light. I put very very few and I wonder if it's even useful because the color of the blue cara is already superb, full of uh, reflections, uh, but well, it's done now. <music> Let's move on the 
white epoxy paste. So you will see that I use very, very, very few. I just dip my stick, then I scratch it on the side and I put one or two drops. And then I mix it well and I'm ready to pour. I start with the cracks, which I place in the center of my molds. on the outside edge, trying, and I mean trying, to be as regular as possible. in a spiral starting from the center to the outside. Try not to make a blob or it will show on the other side and it's, it's not very pretty. coaster I'm a little short on uh, white resin. We'll see. With my silicon brush I smooth out the spirals to, to avoid blobs. formation of flowers. We think of a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you see, then 9 o'clock, then we come to draw a line in the middle of uh, these petals, always from the outside to the center. And then in the middle of these uh, new petals, we start from the center toward the outside to draw the last lines.
An important thing, we work on the surface of the resin. It's important not to go to the bottom of the mold, only, only on the surface. can see the flower shape. With my silicone brush, I make a small swirl in the center, only on the surface. small spray of alcohol and uh, go to drying. Day of mold. I'm so excited. I can see that it's still soft, but I can't wait. I'll, I will put them back in the mold and I will leave them from 24 hours more. Let's go back. Uh, we'll see. Um, oh, it's not too bad, but <laughs> can do better. Uh, no, it's not too bad. <laughs> Let's see the second one. Uh, yes, I like this one. It has a lot of depth. I prefer it, yes. It's already much better. We can see more the 3D effect of the flower. Now let's see the third one. I like this one too. Um, the few cracks that got lost, but it's really, really nice. You can also uh, see the 3D effect. You see? Oh, yes, I like it. It's pretty. And now, let's see the last one. I, I You know, it's uh, the one I didn't have much white resin left, but well, it's not too bad. It's a little bit more transparent, but the effect is very nice. I think it comes out pretty good. A few cracks uh, that moved, but that's okay. It's a super simple technique, easy to set up, and the 3D effect is great. I really like it. I'm going to refine this technique. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!